Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. And this time we're going to look at a game called Hunchback. This was created by Century Electronics in 1983. And there's a Century, Century Electronics uh, cabinet system where you change out the uh, different uh, games in the same cabinet. This was also seen, I guess, in Donkey Kong cabinets, as was a number of other Century, Century Electronic games. Uh, I remember seeing this in the arcades briefly, and this was one of Century Electronics' uh, uh, more famous games. Um, it's not bad. The sound effects are are not that great, uh, nor are some of the uh, technical aspects of the game. But it was it was popular, and it got a number of uh, uh, home ports. Uh, the game is basically like the old classic Pitfall, in which there's a fixed screen and there's a number of dangers that you have to uh, pass. Um, like a number of other uh, Century Electronics games, there is a button you can push during the attract mode that will uh, give you uh, clues about the game or tell you what the directions are. And uh, you get an extra life at, I think it is, uh, 100,000 points. Now, uh, there's a special scoring system. If you manage to make it past five screens without dying, you get a big bonus. And you get a bonus for, for making it through one screen. It says, Featuring the Bells. There is a bell at the end of each screen, and when you touch the uh, chain to the bell or the rope to the bell, you will get to, you will pass that screen and get a bonus. So you need to get five in a row, and here this is easy. There is just these uh, fireballs that come at you, and you jump over them. There's a jump button and that and a joystick and that's all the controls. Yeah, just the swinging of the rope is just technically ugly looking. <laughs> and the sound effects are ugh. But the game was certainly playable. So far it's really easy. But uh, there will be some hard parts. And now we just jump over these gaps in the uh, castle wall. And note that guy climbing up on the left. He is there to uh, force you to move ahead. Now you got to watch out for these guys' uh, spears that jab upwards. If they touch you, you, you'll you die. If you mistime your jump going across the gaps, you die. And if that guy coming up the castle wall touches you with the blowtorch that he will sport eventually, you will die. You need to learn timing big time as this game moves along. It's really difficult when uh, objects fly at you from both left and right. Right now it's easy, and there I got my uh, super bonus. But um, now we've got arrows flying at me. They only fly from one direction right, right now, I believe. Later on they will come from both directions. There will be high arrows, there will be low arrows. The game really spikes in difficulty eventually. Get really close to the edge there. Uh, the, the rope swings a bit faster than before, so you need to uh, jump a little earlier than you did before. <clears throat> and now, not only have these spikes going going up, or the the uh, the knights jabbing you with their spears, but you also have to time your jump with with uh, arrows flying at you. Now, when you're almost to the rope and you need to jump again to ensure that you miss a uh, a final arrow, almost all the time it's going to be low, so you don't have to worry about uh, one flying overhead. And now we got the arrows from behind. It, this screen often starts with a fast arrow coming from behind. 
one thing that you have in your corner is that you uh, is that um, you can control the direction of your uh, character in mid-air while you jump. This game, of course, is based on uh, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, the novel by uh, Victor, Hugo, uh, Victor Hugo. Yeah, see, definitely use that to your advantage, uh, being able to move back and forth in mid-air while you're jumping. Because you'll need to sometimes return to safe ground. Otherwise, you'll land on an arrow or a flying uh, fireball or something. But yeah, it's a real pain in the ass. You have to learn to time your time your jump. I did have to use like a, a two or three save states or something, but um, I wanted you to see all. Ah, shit! That one came really fast. I wanted you to see um, the. Uh, uh, all the screens that you have to go through, and there are 15. Then there is one final screen where you have to uh, rescue Pr Princess Esmeralda. But yeah, this game gets really tough with with learning your timing. Yikes! Oh crap! But yeah, remember you can hook backwards in midair. You can, um... What was I going to say? Uh, yeah, you can fall into the fire pit there uh, if you uh, mistime your jump. Now, on this final screen, the action looks like it slows down, but this is still the hardest screen of all. This last one. You... This part right here is really difficult. You need to find the right timing to jump over that spear and not land on a rock. <laughs> oh, it's so hard. And now this is like the Donkey Kong rivet level, except when you get to the edges, you need to jump across... Oh, shit. You need to uh, jump onto the rope when it's lowered as far as it can. And that'll ensure, or at least close to as, as low as it can, that'll ensure that you'll raise high enough so that you'll be able to reach the, uh, reach the floor that you want to get to. And I want to jump off to the left. But yeah, arrows will fly from both, both sides. Ah, oh, shit, I didn't get enough uh, of a running start, and so I fell off the edge. The sound effects are goofy. You know, when he, when he dies, he goes, blah, 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 blah. it just sounds really stupid. When you're on the rope, then the arrows will fly from the other end, fortunately. Yikes. But yeah, you'll have to hook backwards in mid-jump sometimes, just to be sure that you don't land on an arrow. Eh, lift me up, thank you. But you'll need to be able to get high enough off the rope to be able to uh, jump over to uh, the floor that you're that you want to be on. And you'll want to be jumping across to the rope when it's fairly low. Ah, shit, I, I backed up from there, too. Well, if you get, you know, once you beat all floors of that screen, then uh, you've basically beaten the game, but it starts all over, and there's uh, the screens are more difficult the next time through. There's added dangers for each uh, screen. But we'll uh, we'll beat that screen now here. But yeah, this game's very difficult on the later levels. Timing's just everything. And there we go. And you get a special bonus for the, the time you have left from beating that screen. And see, there's there's newer dangers this time around. Oop. 
<laughs> well, that was Hunchback by Century Electronics in 1983 for the Century Video System cabinets. Well, this is Crazy Clam Radio saying thanks for watching Hunchback by Century in 1983. I hope you have a good one, everybody. Stay cool, and I will see you later. Have a good one, folks. Bye-bye.